everyone, it's Tess from teachwithtess.com and I am checking in with you from Paris. Gay Paris, where I'm staying for a few days to see my daughter. I told you um, I was coming over when I uh, gave a little check-in from Brussels, so here I am. Now, it's been an interesting uh, 24 hours, let's put it this way. I arrived yesterday in this lovely little tiny, weeny, weeny, tiny, 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 weeny, tiny b and um, where they told me there was high-speed network, Wi-Fi and stuff. Anyway, there isn't. So I've spent this morning zooming around trying to find alternative places to teach, um, routers, anything to make this a feasible experience. But guess what? Didn't work. Ah! So um, I have managed to get into the classroom. There doesn't seem to be too much of a delay. And I'm going to wing it, I think is the only way I can say so. It is a really interesting thing, the life of a travelling teacher, it never quite goes how you think it will. So my massive takeaway from this little trip so far is to buy yourself a good 4G router so the next time you or I or any travelling teacher comes across a bit of a problem with the Wi-Fi, we have something to fall back on. Hmm. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. If I have tear marks down my cheeks afterwards when I check in with you again, you'll know it wasn't quite as good as I was hoping. Anyway, this is my little setup today. So, that's the kitchen, tiny kitchen. And here is my little classroom. So, there you go, that's my setup and what I bring with me. And if we go around here, you can see, oh my good grief, what am I doing? We can see, there you go, my classroom, that's me, my classroom, the bed, the window, uh, yes, and I have all my bits and bobs, my props are over there, look, there you go, my favourite props, we have, <coughs> and we have my boys and girls, they come everywhere with me, the best teaching props if I can show you, Arr, there you go, best things in the world, anyway, I've got to love you and leave you because I've got a class to teach with dodgy Wi-Fi. Um, so I'll see you afterwards and let you know how it goes. Hi guys, I made it through. I got a bit cold so I've put a jumper on here. But it worked. There were no bugs. All the classes loaded. There are no tears. Look, look, no tears, no tears on my cheeks. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so relieved. That was the most stressful thing. But thankfully, my first few classes in Paris went really well. And I'm so pleased because I have some of my favorite students today and they were on fire today. So it was well worth having. So anyway, now I'm off to go and have a glass of wine. And then that patisserie I talked to you about. I think it's lunchtime here in Paris. It is, a bit late. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon, all the way from Gay Paris. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, say hello to my daughter. This Hi is guys. Emma. This is Emma and this is her lovely dog. Coconut. Coconut! Hello coconut! Oh my good grief coconut. Anyway, we are very near somewhere that you may notice and may recognise. So we're going for a walk. It's so nice. Look, 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 look. Guess where I am? I'm Sour. It's so lovely here in Paris and it's a beautiful day. Look at this the sun. Is gorgeous. It's really nice, although it is quite empty. I have a feeling coronavirus is emptying these big cities. But luckily, I've managed to come before it gets difficult to travel. So, see you later, folks. Bye.